Hey guys, it's Kimberly here, and today we're doing another Life Talk on the concept of Explore Your Calling. And so today, um, I want to introduce Anna Park. Um, Anna, I always try to guess, how long have I known you? Has it been about, how many years do you think? Probably like six years now. Six years? Okay, so four through college, and then so maybe right around the start of your junior year? Yeah, like so end of sophomore year. Okay, pretty cool. All right, so the Explore Your Calling is we're just having interviews with some young adults so that they can kind of share their career path um, and what it took to get where they are right now. And I just think there are so many um, students in high school or just graduating that are trying to figure all that out. So Anna, tell us a little bit about yourself, where you're from, where you went to school, and what major you had and why you, why you landed on that. Yeah, so my name's Anna Park, and I'm from Johns Creek, Georgia. I went to Johns Creek High School and graduated in 2016. Um, I went to school at the University of Georgia and just graduated a month ago. And I graduated with a degree in Manager Information Systems and International Business with a certificate in Personal and Organizational Leadership. And so that was all through the Terry College of Business at UGA. Wow, okay, so you're, would, would you say you're an overachiever? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess, I just like have always been the type to like, like to be busy. And so I would say like UGA is the kind of school where if you wanna be involved in a million things, there's every opportunity to do so. And so that was really exciting to me and I just went all in and I regret nothing about the decision. I feel like I walked away with a really wide, variety of different experiences and that was through trying a lot of new things and so I really enjoyed that about my experience. Okay so can you share your path a little bit about um, your career like that career path while you were in college so for example I think we talked a little about, th about this before um, did you change majors um, what kind of internships or experience you had and I think sometimes that helped you decide what you wanted to do, and then anything, any particular groups or things you were a part of, um, you know, at school. Definitely. So I actually changed my major a lot, like all throughout freshman and sophomore year of college. And I'd say like the number one piece of advice is like, don't feel like you have to have everything figured out when you go to school, because I definitely did it. And the whole process of me like growing throughout my college journey was me trying things that worked and things that didn't work. And so I actually came in as a statistics major and I wanted to do something with marketing too. So when I first came in, I was like marketing and statistics double major. And I realized like, as I was getting deeper into my statistics course of sophomore year, I realized, oh, like I'm not getting the interaction with people that I really, really need. And so that was when I kind of took a step back and I was like, okay, what's something that combines the things that I like about statistics and also kind of satisfies my like needs like interact with people all the time and so that's when I just like looked at more things in the business school and I found manager information systems so they had a data analytics emphasis within that major and so that was one thing that immediately caught my attention and so I decided to look at it talk to a lot of my brother's friends who had graduated with an MIS degree from UGA and I decided that it was something that I really wanted to pursue when I was going into science. So I went ahead, changed my major. And so ever since then, though, I think I made a really good choice because MIS, what I tell people, it kind of combines technology and people. And so like one of the reasons why I chose it was with technology, there's always something to learn. Mm. And for me, I'm like someone who doesn't like to feel like complacent in who I am. And I like to be like constantly challenged by my career. And so I really like the aspect of technology. It's like, oh, there's always something new to learn. And so I found a lot of like, qualities of the major that I liked and wanted for myself in my career. So I did that throughout college. I did a lot of different clubs, it's like some that I ended up going through freshman through senior and others that I just picked up for a year and then decided I wasn't a good fit. I think the important thing that I'd say is like get invested in like a handful of things that you are really passionate about in terms of clubs. So I did, got really involved with Shop with the Bulldog. And so I would say there's a lot of really awesome nonprofit clubs. And that was one thing that um, you taught me was how important it is to have like a service component in your life. And so 
that was what swab was for me. And there's so many other outlets like UJ Miracle. And I also ended up being an ambassador for the business school. And so I got to lead tours for like prospective high school students um, and just kind of represent the business school. So that was another way that I served like the business school because when I was going to junior, I was like, okay, what are clubs I want to do to like leave a lasting impact when I graduate? And that was why I chose to be an ambassador for the business school. I was like, I feel like being a Terry student meant so much to me and shaped so much of who I am that I want to give back. And you definitely want that service component in college because it's really important to like feel like you have purpose and more. And um, the other thing that I'd say like I don't have any regrets about was I actually studied abroad twice while I was in college. So the first time I was, it was right after my freshman year and I was like so terrified, but I studied international business in Italy and I really, really enjoyed it. And so the following summer I was like, okay, I want to do something completely out of my comfort zone and went ahead and lived in Shanghai for two months through the business program. And so I interned abroad as well for an international media agency and I learned so much. And it's like one piece of advice I always have for incoming college students is to study abroad because um, for UGA, really affordable to go like I don't think you'd be able to just go and pick up and do it for the same price that you could and also like get credit for classes as well like you can in college and so those were like some experiences that really like taught me to rely on who I was like just being in a new country and having to meet all new people and so those experiences specifically really meant a lot to me through my college experience and so those are two other things that I think were really important and I got asked a lot about them through interviews, going through the job search. So that was pretty cool too. So you mentioned three things in there, three good things of nuggets of information. One is, and I always tell students is, don't stress out if you don't have it all together and know exactly what you wanna do. I just feel like college, those first couple of years, doing internships, talking to your, to your professors, and students that might be a little bit older than you, you'll figure it out, like don't stress out about it. Two, just trying different things, seeing what you like to do, but then making them be a value to also, like, you know, not only for a resume builder, but also to build you up, like you talk about the serving stuff. And then the last thing is just those internship opportunities, those things that are very, very important to just put yourself out there and, and just try. So. Um, those are three things that I kind of always talk to students about as well. So I love that you talked about those. Um, so one of the things that intrigued me when you and I were first talking about doing this interview was being a representative of the Terry School of Business. You have a good, you are very specific in what you're doing, but you had a good overview of different jobs and things that are out there within the business degree. Um, can you just kind of speak to some of the things that you would share or talk about? So maybe it's someone who's not necessarily interested in specifically what you do, but you have some knowledge about different careers and jobs and degrees. What could you, what could you say about that? Right. So I think the really awesome thing about business is I feel like if you're a people person, there's something for any kind of passion you could have. So, you know, there's marketing and you can do digital marketing or sales. And so, that's a really cool pocket of business. There's also management where you can go into supply chain and logistics, which is really awesome. And there's a bar where you work one-on-one -on -one with people in the workplace. Mm -hmm. um, there's also like accounting and finance, which are those like really number heavy majors. So that's definitely a really awesome career path to go down if that's something that you're passionate about. I know like one thing that I told a lot of students who are like interested in accounting is it's really cool because UGA has where you can get your master's of accounting too. Yeah. And so I think it's pretty cool to like think about like, oh, do I want to get a master's? Because there's a lot of cool programs at schools where you can also get your master's in four to five years. And so definitely like look into that. I know there's like master's of accounting, master's of accounting. So definitely do your research. Um, also within the business school, there was um, marketing MIS, oh, like risk insurance. That's one thing that I had no idea about, but a lot of students um, program for like, you know, they want to be a broker or um, an underwriter. Like those are also like number heavy things, but also have a people component to it. So like what I always would tell prospective high school students, I'd be like, you know, if you 
like get a lot of energy from being around people and like you're you, you have these qualities where like, oh you're a self-starter um you really thrive in like a workplace and if you really want these things I think you could literally have any kind of career that you want like there's just so much to choose from from marketing to what I do and even then like if you start somewhere you can pivot and do a million other things in your career I think one thing that I struggled with a lot was I would like pigeonhole myself and be like mm -hmm. I'm MIS I'm only gonna work in IT and like one thing that I've learned like through interning at Coca-Cola and other companies is you have a million different ways to pivot and so there's a lot of really cool things about business in the sense that you can do a million different things and so I think the thing that really is important is like you like to be around people and you love networking. I'd say that networking is a huge key to being in business. And so as long as you're willing to learn and you're a social person and like you get a lot of energy from being around people, it could end up being a really good fit for you. Although it might take some time to like figure out like, oh, do I like finance, accounting? Those things will come because you take these like prerequisite courses where you get exposure to every topic. So I'd say don't stress about like honing in on one specific I think if you have these kind of key characteristics of like any kind of business unit that you will ultimately land up in something that you would feel like you're good at or see yourself being good at one day well you know it's interesting because I um through a lot of my coaching and I back when I was you know when y'all were in high school I wasn't necessarily doing the coaching side of things officially you and I mm -hmm. had a lot of conversations in cars and stuff but we, <laughs> we talk about the temperaments and knowing kind of how you're wired and with the different temp temperaments some people tend to be people oriented and mm -hmm. some tend to be task oriented and you just mentioned different career paths different jobs that knowing am I a task oriented kind of person or do I need to be with people and so you identified I need more of the people thing that's what you found out so I think it's very important you know you brought up a good point about task versus people um, and there was something else that you were talking about oh one of the other things that when I talk to students who are business majors and I've seen some students is that just because your business doesn't mean that you have to work for a for-profit or private company. There are a lot of phenomenal nonprofit philanthropic type organizations. So you could get a degree in business, but yet you could use it on the nonprofit philanthropic side. Um, because after running a nonprofit for 12 years, I'm here to tell you, it, you have to run, know how to run a business. And so um, nonprofits need all those business things. They need the marketing, they need the accounting. Um, and I love it when people, I was, I loved it when there were people who knew how to do those things, people like you, but they had the heart for helping the nonprofit side. So, um, and I've, I've had so many people, students like that, where they're like, oh, I'm marketing, but they have a real like passion for nonprofit work. And it's like, they went and did internships where they did it, wore a lot of different hats, but ultimately they had a really well-rounded knowledge of business. And I think that was something that really helped them. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. Okay, so you have given a lot of good information. The last question I was like, what advice, you know, to give some last advice, but you've given so many in there. But when you think about it, okay, so you recently graduated UGA. So I want you to tell everybody what you're doing now because you started your job this week. Is that right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. And then, so tell them what you're doing and then just kind of end it of like what if you could sum up like one big nugget of advice to give those high school students or those who have just graduated, um, what would you give them? So follow right, so up on what you think. Yeah, I just started at the Coca-Cola company, which is where I interned last summer. And I work in business intelligence and data analytics as an associate. And um, I think just like a few nuggets of knowledge I'd share in like me getting to where I am is like the first thing is I always think about the people that I met in college, I think it's really important to surround yourself with people who you like want to be more like. And so the thing that I saw in my best friends that I met in college was that they were constantly pushing me um, to be a really great student and well-rounded person. And so they were challenging me to go after different opportunities and they we always studied together and so i saw a lot of qualities in my friends like very early on where i was like i see something in those people that i also want to and so i think with college there's just such an opportunity to meet people from all over and i think you should definitely like use that to your advantage and use them as you know your support system because 
because college is like a messy four years and like you definitely want to walk away with lasting friendships that you're like okay these are like my people for life like you thick and thin so I feel like I found that and that was something that really helped me through me figuring things out through four years of college and then another piece of advice I think I'd say is like I feel like you walk away from high school like knowing a few things about yourself and so for me I was like I feel like I have leadership potential but I was like a little bit scared going to college because I was like oh I'm a little fish in a big pond now and so like definitely hone in on those like kind of like budding qualities about yourself and like go and like discover those things about yourself like one thing that I always think about um, when I look back on college is I I was like, I feel like I'm a leader who has potential, but I don't know what that looks like yet. <laughs> so I went and I applied. So there's a leadership certificate that I mentioned earlier that you apply for when you're going to sophomore year, and it's a two-year program, and it was for personal and organizational leadership. And so I was like, you know what, this is like the time for me to explore who I am as a leader, because this program was like, you know, we're going to hone in on the soft skills you need to be a great leader in the workplace. And I was like, okay, that sounds like something that's pretty cool opportunity for me. And we took, like, I ended up getting in and so I was at 29 other business students and we all just like honed in on like who we were, took a million personality assessments, like talked through everything. And we walked away being just like the best, like 30 best friends in the classroom. But those people are like people that I look up to so much because we're all leaders in our own ways. And I wouldn't have had the opportunity if I wasn't like, oh, I wanna explore this characteristic about myself that I feel like has a lot of potential. And so I'd say, you know, do your research, go out and get involved and like go after things that you're passionate about. And if you see weaknesses about yourself or things that you feel like you can work on, work on them. Cause this is one of the times where you'll have a million dif different resources at your hands. I think in college, you'll be surrounded by professors, advisors, students, organizations that can be such like support to you and growing into who you want to be. So like take advantage of that and live out like every experience that college has to offer you because there's so much. And I think the most important thing is like to walk away knowing like you gave it your everything that you have a really like wide variety of experiences that you feel like make you like uniquely who you are. And then always like work hard for the things that you want. And so for me, I was like, really want to go and like intern at a big company and hopefully like maybe that'll turn to a job. I remember like when I came back for school, like going into junior year, I just hit the ground running looking for internships because that was a personal goal of mine was to secure one. So like make like short term, like intermediate, like long term goals for yourself and like pursue them and like do the things that you're doing really well. It's so, like study. Um, you know, while also investing in your friends and the community around you, it might seem like really like overwhelming four years, but I think if you're there fully and you're investing in a really great community and yourself, like you'll walk away having no regrets about college. Well, you know, even as you were talking, I was just like, this is why I love Anna so much. And I, <laughs> because you and I've walked through some stuff and I know like, you know, it sounds like outside the hard work, it sounds like life is kind of easy, but it's not. And I know that, you, you know, you have the struggles and all that. And one of the things that I've loved so much about you over the years is that it is that you keep pressing through and you keep your chin up and you keep going and you just want to be better. And so I can definitely see the fruit of that, um, you know, as you'd see like your life and, um, and to get that big internship that worked into a job. I don't know if you can get any bigger of a company than Coca-Cola. So you, you hit the jackpot on that. So anyway, thanks for sharing your heart and just your path and stuff like that. Um, I always say college is the best four years of your life, you know, for those who choose to do that. And I think it's kind of what you make of it. Um, and I also do agree that um, you, you learn a lot about yourself. You know, I feel like half of it's academics and job and all that. And the other half is just growing personally in so many different ways. So um, anyway, thank you so much for sharing. Um, I appreciate your talk and um, thanks, thanks again. All right, guys, thanks a lot for um, hearing Anna. And next week, we're actually gonna be hearing from another student. He is the assistant, assistant district attorney um, in Bartow County. He's also a UGA grad, went to law school there. So we'll look forward to that. So thanks a lot, guys. Yay.